Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Today I am going to discuss third set, slot 1, CAT 2022 LRDI section. This question is based on concept from tournaments. It says the management of a university hockey team was evaluating performance of four women players, Amla, Bimla, Harita and Sarita for their possible selection in the university team for next year. For this purpose, the management was looking at the number of goals scored by them in the past eight matches, numbered one through eight. The four players together had scored a total of 12 goals. And in these matches, in the eight matches, each of them had scored at least one goal. No two players had scored the same total number of goals. So basically in each match, at least one goal was scored by any of these players. Total number of goals that was scored was 12. And it says that no two players had scored the same total number of goals. So four players, total number of goals 12, all of them are distinct. Now if we, if we try to find those numbers, what could be those numbers? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, if you take least possible numbers it will be 10 right and if we want to make it 12 if you start with 2 the least sum will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it's 40 so our numbers must be between these what's the possibility if i take 1 plus 2 9 is left i can take 3 and then 6 this is equal to 12 this is a possibility then I can take 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 12. This is also a possibility. All of them have scored different number of goals. Now, next is the following facts are known about the goals scored by these four players only. All the questions referred only to the goals scored by these four players. Next, it says only one goal was scored in every event numbered match. Only one goal. So match 2, 1 goal, match 4, 1 goal, match 6, 1 goal, match 8, 1 goal. Next it says Harita scored more goals than Bimla. So Harita scored more goals than Bimla. And the highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly 3 matches including match 4 and match 8. Match 4 and match 8. Okay. The highest goal scorer goes so in these two matches the highest goal scorer whoever it is have must have scored exactly one goal vimla scored a goal in match one so vimla scored a goal in match one vimla have scored one goal here and one each in three other consecutive matches so three other consecutive matches we don't know but now we know that total number of goals scored by Bimla must be, must be at least 4, right? Bimla must be at least 4. And we know that if you check this combination. In this case, if Bimla have scored 6 goals, then Harita cannot have more than Bimla. So we can discard this one. So now we can say Bimla must have scored 4 goals and Harita must have scored 5 goals. So let's put it here, Bimla 4 goals and Harita 5 goals. Now let's go to the previous statements where it says the highest goal scorer scored goals in exactly 3 matches including match 4 and match 8. So match 4 Harita 1 goal. So let's take 0 for other players in match 8 again 1 goal. It will be 0 for other players because total number of goals in these matches is exactly 1. Now rest 3 goals scored by Harita could be in any match. Okay. Total number of goals scored by Harita is 5. Now it says Vimla scored a goal in match 1 and 1 each in 3 other consecutive matches. 3 other consecutive matches. We cannot include match 1. So 3 consecutive matches could only be match 5, match 6 and match 7. So now we can put 0 in front of these players in match 6 because a total of 1 goal has been scored in match 6 that was scored by Bimla. Next it says an equal number of goals 
were scored in match 3 and match 7. So we can say that match 3, if it is x number of goals, then match 7, this will also be x number of goals. Which was different from number of goals scored in either match 1 or match 5. So match 1, let's say if y number of goals has been scored and z, z i match 5, z number of goals has been scored. So x is different from y and z. So we can say x is not equal to y and x is not equal to z. y or z could be equal. Next, it says the match in which the highest number of goals was scored was unique and it was not match 5. So z is not maximum. And the highest number of goals must be y because x has been twice, it cannot be unique. Match 5, this is not maximum, right? So now we have x plus x plus y plus z is equal to 8. Total 12 goals, 4 has been taken already. Total 12 goals. y must be maximum because z cannot be maximum. x is not unique. What are the possibilities if we check here? If we take x is equal to 1, so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, the possibility is that y and z will be, now each match had a, at least one goal, so these values must be greater than or equal to 1. So some of these two values is 6, we cannot take 6 plus 0. We can take 5 plus 1, but again x and z are different. We cannot take 5 plus 1, we can only take 4 plus 2. 3 plus 3 is not possible. Next possibility will be when x is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, then y could be 3, y is maximum and z will be 1. So these are the two possibilities for x, y and z. What we can say about the rest? We know that Harita have scored a total of 5 goals. Can it be match 7? If you put 3 here, then it will become x will become 4 which is not possible. If you put in case of match 5, 3 here, z cannot be equal to 4. z can only be equal to 2 or 1. So we can say Harita must have scored 3 goals in y and there are 4 goals total y. So we can just discard this case. This case is valid. Only this case is valid where x is 1, y is 3, so x is 1, z is 2 and again x is 1. This is the only case possible. Now, as, as we know y is 4, we can put these two as zeros. z will be equal to 2. z will be equal to 2, right? So, uh, this has been, this cannot be here. z is equal to 2. Harita have already scored the total number of goals. So, let us erase this from here, value of x is equal to 1, this is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. We can put 0 all together here and one goal has been scored in match 7 already, it is by Bimla, so it will be 0 and 0 here. Rest, what we can say about Amla and Sarita, they must have scored 1 or 2 goals two or one goals as per this one, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5. Now we do not have any information where we can figure out that how to fill this table. Apart from Bimla, we can put 0, 0 goals here, we have already taken 4 goals for Bimla. So Amla have scored 1 goal, then Sharita must have scored 2 goals. If Amla have scored 2 goals, then Sarita must have scored one goals. So in these three matches, we can fill the data if any other information has been given. So let's move on to the questions. First question, it says how many goals were scored in match 7? Match 7, one goal has been scored. Option 4th is correct. Which of the following is the correct sequence of goals scored in match 1, 3, 5, 7? 1, 3, 5 and 7. It's 4, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 1, option 2 is correct. Third question, it says, which of the following statements is are true? 
स्टेटमेंट वन अमला एंड सरिता नेवर स्कोर्ड गोल्स इन द सेम मैच सो इज इट पॉसिबल दैट बोथ ऑफ देम हैव स्कोर्ड अमला एंड सरिता हैव स्कोर्ड द गोल्स इन द सेम मैच सो इफ अमला हैव स्कोर्ड वन मैच देन अदर टू मस्ट बी वैकेंट एंड दो टू मस्ट बी हियर राइट यू कैन सी हियर एंड इफ सरिता हैव स्कोर्ड वन गोल देन अमला मस्ट हैव स्कोर्ड टू गोल्स so we know that these goals must be distributed one of these one of these and one of these so yes this statement is true that amla and sarita never scored goals in the same match it's not possible that both of them both of them have scored goals in the same match like if they have scored let's take if they have scored goals one and one here then we cannot put if you put one here then this two will be left if you put one here then this one will be left so it's not possible here that both of them have scored in the same match so statement 1 is true second statement harita and sarita never scored goals in the same match harita have scored goals in match 1 match 4 match 8 in both the in all the three matches sarita have not scored any goals so this statement is also true answer is both the statement say which statements is are true both the statement fourth question it says which of the following statements is are false in every match at least one player scored a goal so that has been given in the question right that has been given in the question so this is true not false statement to no two players scored goals in the same number of matches same number of matches now in case of bimla uh, have scored a goal in four different matches harita have scored goals in three different matches amla have scored goals in one or two different matches if this is one this will be two if this is two this will be one so all the players have scored goals in different number of matches this is what's given no two players scored goals in the same number of matches that is also true it's about which of these statements are is are false so none of the statements both the statements are true option 1 is correct question number 5 it says if harita scored goals in one more match as compared to sarita harita have scored in three matches so sarita must have scored goals in two matches right which of the following statement is are necessarily true amla scored goals in consecutive matches so amla have scored only one goal in this case because sarita have scored two goals then amla must have scored one goal so it cannot be consecutive right so this statement is false sarita scored goals in consecutive matches sarita can score goal in any two of these three matches 1 2 3 match 2 match 3 match 5 she can score one goal each in two matches out of these three matches so again this statement is also false so answer is option 1 none of the statements is are necessarily true so with this we are done with this set i'll be back with the last set of this slot very soon till then keep practicing thank you